Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. Paul Apollonia here. Sorry for the absence there. Kind of put some things on hold. Uh, we were waiting for our new granddaughter to arrive, and she arrived uh, a week uh, Saturday a couple of days ago. So excited. Um, everything went well. She's really healthy. Sleeping a lot, obviously. She's a newborn, but everything is good there. So that's kind of why I've been a little bit absent here. But thank you so much for everybody that's coming in there again. Appreciate it. Up to 1,251 subscribers. Thank you so much. And please uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, if you subscribe, hover over that, hover, yeah, hover over that subscribe button and um, click the all. And uh, you'll get all the videos wearing my grandpa hat 2024 my daughter got me for Christmas. I'm at Starbucks. There's a little background noise. Hopefully it won't be that bad. I think I've got it muted out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to show you about five items I sold uh, a little while ago, maybe about a week or two ago, maybe three. <laughs> Not real high end, high earning items, but uh, hey, whatever. Pretty much an open book. Uh, give you some tips and tricks on um, what I sold. Do a lot of consignments, actually kind of not doing it anymore, but really being real picky on who I do consignment for. We are thinking about downsizing. Um, the market is just, the real estate is just not there right now. So I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, we're going to stay in Raleigh. We'll stay in Raleigh. It's no big deal. It's not like we're living in an awful place. It's just like you get to a warmer climate to where it's um, warmer all year round. Let me shrink this ugly mug of mine. And here we go. Let's go to the first item. I'm going to tell you where I got it. Oop, not bad. <laughs> All right. The story of the uh, precious moment figurines. If you haven't been keeping up with this, uh, I've done several videos on on this subject. But try and make friends, colleagues, whatever you want to call them, with other people. For what you're doing. I do consignment, obviously, and I try my best to be. Uh, Friendly to other people who are doing consignment, consignors, I guess they call it. And um, guy by the name of Trader Chris, I think he's out in the Fuquay, Varina now. Um, came friends with him years ago. He comes to my meetup group. Oh, don't forget, I run the Raleigh eBay meetup group. We are not meeting tonight uh, because I canceled it because I didn't know when the baby was coming. But um, we meet second Thursday of the month at um, or this afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till uh, 5 o'clock. Uh, basically, I try my best to have guests on. Uh, if we get by about 10 to uh, 15, 20 people on, it's a Zoom format. It is not uh, in person. I'm going to try my best to have it in person now and then. The problem with that is that I get more people on Zoom that are from out of the area. So back to this. Uh, I made friends with this guy years and years ago. It's been on my meetup so much since the beginning. And he always calls me and says, hey, I've got, he deals with super high-end stuff, estate jewelry, stuff like that. Just super high-end stuff that I really don't have a desire to. And he calls me every once in a while and says, hey, I've got this stuff. Do you want it? And most of the time I take it. This time he had 250 precious moment figurines. Probably should have said no. <laughs> um, I did okay with these. What I do is I've sold them in groups of nine. Why well, I do nine? Just because I'm going to do ten. I want to catch people like nine. So um, sold a good bit. Probably sold about 175 like that in groups of nine. Sold a lot of single ones. Um, most of them went for. I sold them in groups of nine for about 24.99 plus shipping. Um, sometimes a few of them broke in shipping. I have no idea how that happened. I bubble wrap these suckers like crazy. Um, if somebody sent me a message and said, hey, one's broke, two's broke, whatever's broke, I would just refund them. I would divide nine into whatever, $24.99, I just refund them that, and they were happy. Um, I did sell a few. There were a few that went for uh, 30 40 50 60 bucks, but that was just a very small handful of them. Um, I don't even know why I sold this one. 
it's so low. I'm really trying not to get into the low end sales, but $9.99. Um, I didn't make much off of this. I think shipping was about six fifty. Um, so all my titles are um, eBay, um, not eBay friendly. eBay uh, best practices. No special characters. There is no box. I do have the boxes for these. And when I sold the first one, I went through 250 boxes and found the box. And I thought, we're not doing this. I am going to sell the boxes as a lot. Um, excuse me. Um, probably not going to go for much. Probably 50, maybe 50 bucks, but maybe 20 bucks shipping. Um, so I'm going to put them all in a big box um, and get them out that way. Take pictures of all different sizes. These are all done on my phone, white background, using a project board from Dollar Tree or what I call five quarter tree now. Everything's a dollar and a quarter plus. Um, I always take a picture of as many angles as I can. I always take a picture of a close up of the identification. I always use the uh, condition. If it's anything but new, I always put a condition description in there. This figurine will be bubble wrapped with care. And several ones are broke. We won't talk about that. Please review the new, no stress, no box. I don't think I got it down here. Um, these were pretty easy to do. Once I created one, I just did the self similar with everything else and just changed um, little things in the other specifics. Other specifics, specifics are very important. This is, these come into play when you're searching on eBay on the left, when you're doing new, used, color, um, or whatever. It's relying on item specifics. Very important to use these. Do not put any, don't put NA, don't put um, none, stuff like that. Um, I did know because that was an option. Um, just don't use, if the, item, if the item specific does not pertain to your item, just leave a blank. It's okay. You can even add item specifics if you want. Anything when you're doing item, item, yeah, item specifics. When you get the pull down menu, those you want to try and pick one in those pull down menus because that's the most popular ones that are picked. Uh, my descriptions are pretty simple copy and paste of the title and uh, copy and paste of what I did. Um, excuse the noise here, sorry. It's picking up a little bit. But we're going to continue anyway. Um, Uh, yeah, right. And, and, and I put a lot number. Well, a lot number. What do you mean by lot number? What I did was I just put these in grocery bags, place the grocery bags after I bubble wrap. What I did first was I didn't really bubble wrap them the first, the first four or five I sold. And then when I went to ship them, I had to bubble wrap them all and put them in a box. Then I thought, heck with this. I bubble wrapped them, then put them in, you know, it's just a place a grocery bag that you get the grocery store and wrote with a Sharpie like lot 10, lot 11. Um, I think I have one more in here and what I'm going to show you. Like I said, it was not a big dollar sale. Um, maybe I made uh, $10 on this, which like I said, I'm, I'm, I used to really like say, man, I'll sell anything and everything um, for whatever, as long as it's a quick trip, but it's just not worth it anymore. Oh, here's another one. Hopefully that's the last one. Yes, I think it is. All right. I'll be $14. These three uh, um, clowns. Gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm a clown. Oh. <laughs> went for fourteen dollars. Very lightweight. I, I I don't even think they were like two pounds. They went into a small eBay box, six by six by six, I think it was, and they arrived safely. Didn't get any complaints. Each one, I um, that's nice and clear. Um, I made sure I that's another nice and clear photo. Nice dirt on it. Okay. Um, but they were happy with them. Again, no box. Probably made about $13, maybe $12 on these. Again, they went into a very small, I think, six by six by four box. I forget. One of the eBay boxes you can order if you have a store, anything but a basic. Uh, I get $25 every quarter for uh, shipping supplies, and I use it every quarter. What I do is one month, I one quarter, I did not use it because I forgot. So what I do now is the minute I get the... Uh, New quarter starts, I just go and buy, um, get my shipping supplies. Like I said, all pictures are done there. Same thing, nothing fancy. Same thing I told you before. All right, microwave trays. Oh, I used to sell a boatload of these back in the day. 
someone gave me these. Again, I did videos on this. So everybody, what you are doing, you'll be amazed what people give you. Um, I, I've had people during COVID that didn't want to go to the thrift store. They were just giving me stuff. Somebody gave me a Fuji color printer, a large one. I sold it for $400. Someone gave me a big HP flat bed printer. I don't know what the heck it was in a box, never even used. I sold it for $500. So tell everybody what you're doing. Yes, you'll get a lot of junk. Deal with it. <laughs> but this guy gave me five of these plates. They are super long tail sales, which means you're going to have it for a long time in your eBay store. It's up to you. They don't take up a lot of room. Pretty flat. Should I take any? Probably not. I still have about five of them in my store. I've been doing a lot of clearing out. I think I'm down to, uh, I'm building it back up again, but with the baby coming and with us possibly moving, I was doing a lot of downsizing. I think I'm down to a big whopping 115 items in my store. Wow. I know. I need to build that up because if you're not listing, you're not selling. eBay likes to see action. But this $15, uh, yes, I charge shipping $12.99. Oh, I have one more left. Um, where do I get information on these? There is a site I forget. If you type in microwave plates or microwave trays, or excuse me, a little try here today. In Google, I think there's a site out there that has microwave trays. Um, you can do Google Lens on these things on your phone with the app Google Lens. Lay it out flat, take a picture, and Google Lens should find it. You can search eBay. What you're looking for is the size, which is 12 inches. I measure, and you want to make sure this pattern, you want to make sure that, whoop, whoop, that pattern there is the same, what you're looking at. Um, these fit multitude of microwaves. Whirlpool, Kenmore, you name it, it fits a lot of microwaves. Um, same thing using the uh, tray has three partial circles to connect the turntable driver. This is obviously a cell similar I use. Let's see what it says down here. Okay, somewhere from use, the guy got it and he said, it, I thought it was I thought I was buying used, but it looks brand new. And you're saying, oh, let me tell you, shipping. Do I refund people if I'm below my shipping cost? Nope. Um, what if you're what if you're over the shipping cost you're charging? I eat the cost. Um, I usually choose. Oh, this is Expedia uh, shipping. I usually do economy shipping. That gives me every option eBay offers: FedEx, Post Office, and the UPS. How do I ship this thing? Hmm. I use pool noodles. Pool noodles. Yes, I think I have a video on this in my on my channel. Take a pool noodle. I go to the uh, Dollar tree or five quarter tree, like I, like I like to call it. Get a couple of pool noodles, um, kind of wrap it around a little bit, measure it, cut it, um, slit the pool noodle all the way around with a utility knife. Be careful, don't cut yourself. Just you want to open one side of it, then you want to put this around the, um, the tray, tape one end of it, tape it again, make sure it's nice and secure so it's not going to fly off. Then I take another piece of a pool noodle about the diameter of, of the tray, slit that all the way in half, being careful I don't cut myself, put one side on one of the micro, one half on one side of the tray, one half on the other side of the tray, and tape it up. Then I take a piece of cardboard, if it's got writing on it or printing on it, I flip it inside out, and I just wrap like you're wrapping a gift at holiday season. Wrap it and tape the living heck out of it, and that's how I ship it out. Pretty easy. It gets there safely and secure. I shipped the many, many, many of these out. Two more items left. And what is this? It's a, okay. Boy, back in the day, I used to do really well with Kirby stuff. I've sold vacuum cleaners as a whole. I've sold parts. They always sold well and fast. Um, this was a vacuum cleaner that I got from the uh, thrift store that just sat on eBay for a very, very long time. Probably a year plus. And I said, heck with it. I'm going to part it out. Um, sold the bag for 40 bucks. Sold the motor part, I think, for 40 bucks or $35 plus shipping. And I sold this. And that's about all I sold off the vacuum cleaner. 
Man used to sell these things for $200 back in the day. I think they've just reached their, their end of life. Here's some bags down here, $49, $49, $49, $28, so there you go. But uh, there is money in parts. I'm actually trying to get more into parts, smaller parts, so I'll have this huge, large inventory. But there is money in parts, not of any kind, just there is money in parts. Appliance parts, vacuum cleaner parts, shark vacuum cleaners, Dyson vacuum cleaner parts sell well. The canisters from the Dyson sell very quickly. The canisters from the shark vacuum sell very quickly. I've done several videos on parting those two out. So uh, check those out. But there is money in parts. Um, people saving money. People trying to save money. Um, just stuff like that. Took as many pictures as I could of this thing, all different angles. This took a while to sell. Probably took about three months to sell. Um, it probably made about probably about twenty-one dollars off of that. Like I said, these aren't big time sales. What do they make off of this thing? Probably fourteen dollars. One more item, and that is it, my friends. Okay, another. This is an old, 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 old. old. Old consignment deal, probably five, six years old, if not uh, older than that, longer than that, from a uh, gentleman I knew that was a pastor that was moving on from his church to go on and follow something else. And he had almost a whole library full of stuff, of books. And I took them on consignment. And honestly, I didn't do anything with them. I finally saw the guy months later who goes, what's wrong with it? I gave him 100 bucks for all the books. I ended up, in my process of downsizing, I ended up getting rid of most of them. All of them. Just about <laughs> keeping probably a hand. We're going to keep it about 20 of them. And sold and sold, um, sold about 10 of them so far. 10 different types of books. There is money in these Christian books. Um, if you can find them, um, especially I've got a few series, a few books geared towards pastors, and they have sold pretty good. Um, I'm not a huge bookseller. I used to sell books on Amazon years ago, but not not big time, just for about a year or so. People do sell books on eBay. The one reason why people sell books on eBay is because you get more than one picture of the book, and you can show. I show the front. I show every angle I can from the book, the page thing. I open up page, show them the, um, the information on publishing date and everything and all that other stuff. Um, I did really well on this. This went out media mail because it is a book. So I did really well, probably four fifty in shipping, maybe $5. My best offer was, oh my gosh, I can't remember, um, like $35, I think it was. So I did pretty good on that. Well, that is about it. Sorry if I was interrupted here a lot. I'm trying to talk between the noise. So hopefully the noise wasn't so bad. And again, please don't forget. Oh, don't forget. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you guys and gals. Thanks a lot for watching. And just stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully a lot faster than I. There won't be this kind of delay. There's no more grandchildren in the picture. So that's good. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Steve with Rake and Prop and I'm here with Paul and I just want to shoot a quick testimonial for him because he's been one of my good friends for over what, four or five years yeah. now? Yeah. And if you're looking to learn about selling on eBay and you want to start a side hustle, you just want to make some money flipping stuff on eBay, you're in great hands. Paul's been doing this for a long time. He's helped a ton of people and I put my full faith and trust in him. So Paul, I appreciate you. You bet. Thank you so much. You got it.